Former South African Chief Justice is said to be planning to join politics. A new political party called the All African Alliance Movement announced it will be nominating Mwageng to run as president in the 2024 national elections. The move has been questioned by legal and political commentators as judges get paid for their full salaries for the rest of their lives after retirement. Joining us now to discuss why this is an unusual move is Judges, Mat judges Matter Research and Bekezeli. Benjamin, good morning and thank you for joining us. Good morning, Olive, and good morning to the viewers at home. All right, um, let's talk about uh, the conversation now. Your organization is focused on monitoring the actions of the South African judiciary. What's that usually, is it a usual thing for judges to want to enter into politics? Yes, it is completely unusual. It's actually unprecedented for a judge to uh, want to run uh, for political office. Uh, in fact, the law is quite clear that a judge, whether they are sitting or they have retired, is completely prohibited from, from running or actively participating in party politics. So if uh, Chief Justice Mokweng would want to run for president one day, then um, he would have to resign his office as, as a judge uh, because South African judges are appointed for life. And so he would have to resign from his office in order to take up political office. All right, pretty interesting. And one of the points you just uh, made now, in South Africa, judges are paid for life. And they also get to keep their benefits like you know, security even after they retire. Uh, this is, of course, to allow them to be able for available rather for service uh, to the state after retirement. What are the kinds of things that retired judges are called on to do and how, you know, can his political aspirations impact that? So, so the rationale behind appointing judges for life is to ensure uh, that they are always acting independently, to ensure that whatever decisions that they take in court are always informed by the law and never because of a fear that they may one day be sacked from office. So the, the, uh, the rationale behind it is to protect judicial independence. And often, when even after they retire, judges are sometimes called upon to chair commissions of inquiry. That's uh, when we've seen them uh, most active. Um, they also have been involved in, in certain inv investigations, in certain arbitrations. So when there's a dispute um, and parties do not want to go to court, usually they'll resort to using retired judges. So the possibility of a judge going into political office affects not only that individual judge but the institution of the judiciary as a whole because a lot of people will call into question whether the judge is really acting independently when they take a decision or they are informed by their political aspirations whatever political interest that they may have so it is a grave risk risk to the institution of the judiciary and that's a very very valid standpoint there let's talk about how the people of south africa are reacting i've seen mixed reactions on social media when the announcement announcement was made on the 5th of august you know different people coming out some were saying you know they're in support of this some are against it but in general how are the people of south africa feeling about this announcement so chief justice mohueng is a polarizing figure in south african society there are many people who uh, support him because he's taken quite a strong stance against uh, corruption and he's also a lay preacher so he has quite a strong religious fo uh, following but um, on the other side there are many many critics of his public statement they feel that it is not the place of a judge to be so involved in in the politics of the day um, just last year in fact he was found guilty of judicial misconduct for criticizing the government's foreign policy towards the state of Israel. So on that score, um, he had, his announcement of running for the presidency has been received with some mixed emotions. Some have been very critical of it and have actually called for his resignation and possibly investigation by the uh, judicial authorities. Others have supported him uh, because um, he sort of represents a moral figure um, as, a, as a pastor and a former judge. So those kinds of uh, sentiments are are currently being expressed by people in South Africa. Uh, is, is there any word on what you know is motivating or inspiring this move? You know, um, you know what 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 reasons has he given uh, for wanting to get involved in politics? 
So some uh, have said that even in the past, while he was active as a judge, he uh, spent quite a, a lot of time speaking publicly against uh, corruption, against what he saw as a, a, a moral decline in South African society. And he, he based this on a feeling that the political leaders were not doing uh, a, a, a proper job. So um, some have said that as long ago as five years ago, he had already signaled that he, he uh, aspired for something more than just the position of chief justice. So it, it ki- came as no surprise to many when he announced that he was running for president. But it seems as if this partic- he, he's coming on right at this particular time by the urging of um, religious leaders and those who belong in tribal communities. So he seems it, it, his support base seems to be based in, in primarily those two support bases. Thank you, Ezekiel Mbekezeli, for joining us this morning. We hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Good morning.